Ms. Abbott was suspended from labor last year after she suggested Jewish, Irish and traveler people experience prejudice, but not racism. Veteran left-winger Diane Abbott has said she intends to run and win as a Labour candidate. Responding to reports suggesting she was still weighing up options, and was considering accepting a peerage, Ms Abbott wrote on X, this is factually incorrect. I have never been offered a seat in the Lords, and would not accept one if offered. I am the adopted Labour candidate for Hackney North and Stoke Newington. I intend to run and to win as Labour's candidate. Ms Abbott was suspended from Labour last year after she suggested Jewish, Irish and traveller people experience prejudice, but not racism, sparking a long-running process which saw her sit as an independent MP. She had the Labour whip restored this week, but it was briefed out that she might be barred from running for the party in the general election. For days, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer declined to say whether Ms Abbott would be defending her Hackney North and Stoke Newington seat on July 4, as he faced claims of a purge of left-wing candidates. On Friday he said she was free to run after the row over her candidacy overshadowed much of the story of Labour's campaign last week. Earlier, Labour frontbencher Yvette Cooper dodged claims that Ms Abbott and other Labour MPs had been offered peerages to make way for Keir Starmer's allies. A number of left-wing Labour candidates, who were MPs until the election was called, have said they would be elevated to the House of Lords if they gave up their seats. Stopping short of completely denying the claims, the Shadow Home Secretary said she did not know anything about that. Ms Cooper instead argued that the system included independent vetting of House of Lords appointments, although the watchdog would typically not block a former MP being elevated. She told Sky News, no party can do that, it's not the way the system works, she added that there is a whole process for an independent committee to vet nominations to the Lords so it is not possible for Sir Keir, or any party leader, to promise anybody a seat there. Pressed again on the BBC later she said, not that I know of. I don't think that's the way the system works. Dot she added, I don't know anything about that. Sir Keir Starmer's election campaign hit the rocks last week after was accused of trying to get rid of candidates to the left of the party. Ms Abbott accused him of culling Labour left-wingers after two potential candidates, Pfizer Shaheen and Lloyd Russell Moyle, were blocked from standing. Asked by Trevor Phillips if she expects Ms Abbott to be the Labour candidate for Hackney North and Stoke Newington, Ms Cooper said, I assume so, yes. I'm very glad it's been resolved for Diane. She continues to be a very important figure in the Labour Party. But she hit out at the saga, which derailed Sir Keir Starmer's election campaign last week, adding, I think everyone would have liked to have seen the process speeded up. Ms Abbott was given the Labour whip back at the beginning of the week after a year-long investigation over a letter she wrote suggesting Jewish, Irish and traveller people do not face racism. But the veteran claimed she had been barred from standing for Labour in Hackney North and Stoke Newington, the seat she has held for 37 years. Sir Keir said no decision had yet been taken and it was not up to him, but the party's National Executive Committee. He finally caved in on Friday, following public pressure from Angela Rayner, insisting, she is free to go forward as a Labour candidate. Dot Ms Abbott said she would not be making a comment until she is officially endorsed by the party's ruling National Executive Committee this week. Labour sources said she will be the Labour candidate in her East London constituency and is expected to ratify the decision when it meets on Tuesday. Ms Cooper appeared to dodge questions about Labour's selection process on Sunday.